It's like you're becoming more sensitive and you no longer want to live as a victim of a physical world. You want to more and more be coming from a place of consciousness, of frequency, of imagination. Fifteen minutes ago, when you told us, imagine an issue that for you is a difficult one. So we are going to imagine a, a good version of, of the past. And, uh, and I, I imagine my bank account. And then uh, the, 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 the anguish feeling, could, I mean, is there all the time now? And I'm like, go away, I don't believe you. <laughs> but it's like it, the contraction now starts coming in a bodily, in a bodily thing, form, not as a thought form so much. So then I'm, you are not gonna beat me and I do your surrender meditation. I've been doing daily your surrender meditation to detect the lack belief and let it go. And I suppose the, the, this uh, insect someday is gonna fall and just fall dead forever for good I mean, if you want to comment, please. What is your proof that it's not working out for you? My bank account. <laughs> <laughs> so where, what, where does your bank account exist? In my mind. Yeah, in your imagination. So can you change it in your imagination? Yes. While you do that, do you believe that you're changing your actual bank account? Or do you still have this other portion of your imagination that suggests, that's imagining, while there is an actual bank account? So I can play this game in my imagination, but there's also a real bank account that's outside of my imagination. Are you imagining that? I think probably that's what's going on. Yes, because we've been conditioned or we've allowed ourselves to be conditioned by excessive focus on things to then internalize a sense that there is an external reality. You know, and this is a habit and this is something that takes effort to change. So that's what you're dealing with. The lack of belief is coming up. The belief in a real world is starting to fight you taking off, lifting off an imaginative power alone. Your faith is going to be challenged by the devil of the world. So that's the journey. That's the process. And you'll have, you'll have probably plenty of waves like that. That's just how you upgrade your frequency. So define it positively, if you can, at least, the fact that you're going through these waves and ripples. They're necessary to help you propel yourself further out of the slums of physical reality-based belief systems. It takes a little while to uproot the scientist, the Newtonian observer of facts. It just takes a little while. It still comes up for me every once in a while. It's just so conditioned. It's so tempting. When you look through the senses, it's so tempting. It, in fact, it belongs, it's part and parcel of this dimension is to make it seem real. So you just got to spend more time in meditation and awareness and I amness and faith and in your desired feeling and in your desired imagination start spending more time there than you spend in physical reality and things will start flowing much faster in the direction of what is beneficial what is a reflection of your well-being what is a reflection of your connection to god so i can't really help you because it's just part and parcel of the process what will help you i think is the acceptance of this being part of the process and just getting back up on your feet, your vibrational feet, finding either the pause, like pausing it long enough to, to regain the faithful insight, like, ah, oh, okay, I can feel it again. I can feel again 
that what I thought is real is not really that real, if at all. And I can actually create, I have, a, I have control over my reality from what I'm presently imagining. And you said it beautifully that we have to watch for getting involved in the house, projecting how things are going to unfold. Because, and this is where faith comes in again, we got to have faith that God's ways are much, much more intelligent than our ways. And we shouldn't try to compensate for it. Every time we try to compensate for it with action or thoughts from a state that doesn't feel fully aligned and inspired and blissful and exuberant, then we are delaying God's ways. We are shooting ourselves in the foot while God is bringing about all the components and organizational skills required to get it to show up in our linear reality. But if we interject because we look at our bank account and we say, this is not what I desire and this means it's not fulfilling itself unless I do things about it or worry about it, then we are not allowing God to recreate our lives, the power of God, which is your imagination. And it's unleashed. Imagination is kind of like the frequency that allows you to tune to your desired reality, to that feeling state of confidence. And then faith is what unleashes it and allows the forces of the universe to bring it to you. So see if you can focus on imagination of the desired reality, remembering your power to revise elements in your life. You can reimagine your bank account. No? Try to imagine it. I, I was imagining when, when you invited us to see it in a different way, I imagined that I was very lucky to have three, three bank accounts that were completely empty because now I have space for millions to come in. If I would have only one or maybe one with a limit, but I have three without limit. So I can there receive millions of dollars. <laughs> Yeah, we got it. We have to exercise our creativity a little bit because uh, the more we've come to reflect physical reality and have those vibrations active in our field, um, the more we or the less we've exercised our capacity as creators to literally like imagination, the more you practice it, the more it feels real, like it's actually got a substance to it. Imagination has a presence to it. It's not just empty blank images fired off into the real reality. No, imagination is the real reality. Your bank account is made of the substance that we call imagination. But because we've crystallized imagination so much in terms of physical senses, we forget that actually what produces the physical senses in the physical world is a deeper reality of imagination. That's the cause. Our imagination is the cause for our physical circumstances. The more you practice that and regain your level of awareness at that level, the more the subtle becomes the real and the gross becomes the unreal or the effect of the real, the result, not the cause. There is no cause anywhere in physical reality. The cause for anything in physical reality is imagination. So just... Continue to remind yourself of this. Continue to practice. You're going to have your ups and downs or your peaks and valleys, rather. And that's okay. I can't take that away from you. It's just the way that it happens when we retrain ourselves. There's no magical pill. It is our duty. It's our duty to train ourselves. And it will get better. And it will get better. And it will get better. If we are vigilant and we pay attention, we do our best, it will get better. And yes, we're going to have uh, probably we're going to have states that are more seem darker or more despair filled as we continue to bump up our frequency. Because initially there is like, if we go, if we go hard on like, okay, I create my own reality and I'm doing it with imagination. And if we go hard on it, maybe even a little too hard, then there's going to be that contrast when we feel we're back in sort of an older state of mind, which prior to our up to practice just kind of felt normal. And now it feels like, oh, I feel stuck. So it's a good sign, actually, in that way. It's like sensitive. And you no longer want to live as a victim of a physical world. You want to more and more be coming from a place of consciousness, of frequency, of imagination, and have faith in what you're radiating, what you already want. R rest in that vortex. Connect to that vortex. And let it happen. See, see the evidence. 
the more evidence you gain for it, the more your belief system will shift from physical Newtonian observational reality to imaginative state of consciousness, state of mind, allowing God's forces to work for you. 